back. Okay, today I'm going to be reading um, if you are no contact with somebody, so no contact at all. I'm going to see what the thoughts and feelings are, okay, what's going on in their energy and anything else that comes out, possible outcome, are they going to come towards you? Just have a real deep dive and see what comes out today, okay? Let's just have three cards, please, Spirit. Okay, right, well your person I feel is dreaming about you, I think you're in their dreams in some shape or form because their energy has come out that they feel they have a soul tie with you, okay, they always, always feel connected to you, whatever they're doing, but I'm specifically getting that they're dreaming about you, okay. Slap bang in the middle of the energy, third party energy, there were other things that got in the way, other people, other friends, other relationships, but without you, they feel like a part of them is missing. So I'm going to go into that deeper. Um, I want to see, you know, why they're dreaming about you. Um, you know, what their intentions are, really. What, what their intentions are and what, what else comes out with their energy. Okay, just while I'm shuffling this, so if you would like a personal reading, if you just click on the title of this video, everything's in the description box and also the free relationship report as well. Okay, why does this person, this energy, feel like they've got a soul tie, please? Okay, let's just have two more. Oh, gosh, wow. Right, the Normand I've just used. Okay, since they ended this, okay, they know that they kept secrets from you. The journals come out of the book, all right? If you aren't sure or you wondered if other people played a big part in the demise of your relationship, then yes, okay? The book is about knowledge, it's about secrets, it's about information that was kept from you, all right? So the energy is pretty bang on here today, the way this is going. The soul tie, wow, they're restless without you. They would like to... Um, you know, it's, it is a communication card, okay, but it's also a gossip card, and because the third party, whoever this is, was, whoever they are, is involved in this reading today, and you've got the secrets card, the overall strong energy really is that your person regrets letting other people tittle-tattle, okay, they regret... It could have been a brother and a sister um, who were doing a lot of the tittle-tattling. It, it, it's an energy of somebody who likes to cut their teeth on drama, you know. They like to pick up a bit of information. I feel that the people who were doing this or person was pretty bored in their own life. Okay, and they came across somebody that you could you could talk to and that you could discuss any problems you've got with them. But then it just became, you know, that saying, um, you know, whispers where something gets said and then something else. And by the time you know where you are, they've got a whole different story. Your person's energy is saying that they accept that as the truth now. Okay, they accept that as the truth. They miss you. Okay, absence. This person really, really does miss you. And like I say, it, it is a soul tie. They are dreaming about you. Let's just see what else they'd like to they'd like to say, please. I, I do think that they really regret this ending. Okay, some of them, you know, could have been using dating apps. That's pretty specific, I know. That is what could have been revealed. Okay, this ending caused... A lot of sadness. I, I don't think it was in this, whoever this is for today, I don't think it was just a very quick ending. I think over a period of time, this person, you know, sort of was, it was going okay and then it wasn't. It kind of deteriorated over a period of time, okay? But there's definitely an element of brothers and sisters who who didn't have your best interests at heart, but you thought they were on your side, okay? 
And like I say, I've got something, I'm getting an energy of dating apps as well, and social media here. It, it's almost as if I, I can see your energy coming in as you, you sitting down and you found some information. You either went onto a laptop, I'm getting a laptop for some reason. Some, something like that, something came out. Okay, but they are dreaming about you. So let's see what else they'd like to say. Let's see what else they'd like to say, please. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know something? <laughs> I think this person almost in some ways didn't want to take responsibility, so they blamed you for the end of it. So it was. this is a classic energy of somebody saying, oh, I need more space, give me more space, or you've done this or you've done that, that's why I need more space. They didn't take responsibility at the time, okay? They did not take responsibility. They certainly didn't own up to what they were doing. I'm not getting, I'm just getting them very furtive. I feel this person had a plan. Okay, I'm going to throw that out there. I feel this person had a plan. But the energy they're in now is that they're almost saying that they're starting to wake up to their flaws. Okay, they're starting to see what they did wasn't right. Definitely with this um, interference. And it is, I have got a sibling's energy here. So this might not be your story at all today. But I have got a sibling's energy that that got in the way of your relationship, okay? They were definitely, it's, it's almost like there was somebody in your connection that couldn't wait for it to fail, and that was because of their own bitterness and their own sort of, I, something in their life hadn't worked out, okay? And they didn't want anyone else to be happy. And I think this is what happened with your person, okay? What I'm seeing with them dreaming about you is that I just feel they're having dreams where you're in their dream and then you've left and then you come back in but they can't reach you. Okay, that's what's that's what I'm I'm seeing. I just see them you've gone, you come back in but they can't reach you. They can't reach you, okay. Right, let's see what the tarot wants to say about this, please. Our two of cups, yeah, okay. What is, oh, are their thoughts and feelings? Tom type today. What are their thoughts and feelings at the moment, please? Yeah, page of wands, they'd like to come forward, okay. A little bit of an immature energy, but it means they mean well, okay. This is an energy where they'd like to come in as a friend. Okay, they don't want, they're not coming in with any nastiness, they're not coming in with any malice. Um, and it also backs up the other cards because, you know, the Page of Wands energy can be someone who's a little bit childish with their friends, okay? So they, they don't always realise what friends are good for them and what friends are bad for them. They're a little bit impulsive, okay? But they would like to talk to you as a friend, okay? No malice, no, you know, no hard feelings. Let's just have two more, please. Ah, Ace of Swords. Yeah. Okay. They would like to come forward um, and tell you some truth, okay? Or they want to come forward and they want to clear the air, all right? They're definitely going to do this. I've got the Eight of Wands here. Okay, this is somebody communicating. Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands together in this and the Page of Wands tells me that they... They won't think too long and hard about the message that they send you, okay? It, it will be friendly, it will be to the point. And I think it was the same in, I don't know if it was yesterday's energy or the day before. It'll come in quickly. The Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands are very quick energies, okay? Very quick energies. I think with your energy, this will go one of two ways. I don't think there'll be anything in the middle, 
here. I think you'll either want to talk to them, you'll want to entertain this, you'll want to hear their truth or, you know, whatever they want to say to you. Or you'll just be like, no, I've done my healing, I've got my closure. Because I think at times this was a very intense relationship. It could have even been love-hate at times for some of you. You know, it was... It could at times be very black and white. There wasn't always a middle road with this person. Okay, I don't feel their energy is very middle road at all. But the Eight of Wands, their feelings is they want, you know, they want to talk to you. They miss talking to you as well. And that, that's interesting here with the Page of Wands. They miss the friendship. They miss the chats they had. Um, the phone calls you had, even when you were together and maybe you were doing something and they were doing something else, they miss that, okay? A lot of fire here today, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and I've also got Air, Aquarius, Libra and Gemini, okay? So this person is going to come back in. I just want to see why they're actually feeling it's a soul, why are you in their dreams? What, what's going on there? Why are you in this person's dreams? Uh, yeah, they're trying to find out what the truth of the matter is. Ace of Swords is all about truth. Okay, I think they want to know if they've still got a chance with you. All right, I think they want to know, this person wants to know if they have still got a chance with you. Okay, they want to know the truth about something. But I feel you'd like to know the truth as well. And like I say, you've either... You know, sometimes in these relationships, if there's no closure, eventually you find your own truth. You, you give yourself your own closure. But that's not always, but it can be a, a, a painful process because, you, you know, I've seen it so many times, you don't know why, how, what or where, and you're just left trying to process all these feelings, okay? But like I said, I think for some of you, you will have given yourself closure here. You're not actually interested in hearing what they've got to say. Right, let's have two more. Right. So yeah, going back, going back to the dreaming, where I, I, I'm just seeing that it, you you leave, you're not there, they're looking for you, then they come, you come back, but they can't reach you. It's because they feel they cause too much drama and you deserve better, okay? I feel this person does, at some level, know what they've done here. I feel at some level this person knows what they did was wrong. Okay, they know they caused a lot of drama. All right, I think there could have been some quite intense showdowns here. Your person could have been a bit of a drama queen, drama king. And I am going, going back to what I said earlier, that I feel that they, they almost started arguments so that you would react okay and then they could blame you right but they do recognize that they know they were doing that so you know it's just an example of the energy you've got something planned for the day it's all organized and and then they do something that they know will ruin your day that you will react to and then They'll either be recording the argument or filming the argument. You know, they, they knew what they were doing. This person, you are in their dreams, very much so. And, you know, they do feel always, always, I don't know if you can see that. I'm not very good at this bit because I was getting a shine off the camera. They do feel very, very connected to you. But, you, you know, you'll know your person. But for me, it's an energy of somebody who gets a kick out of drama, who wouldn't know a quiet night in if it fell out the sky and hit them on the head. Now there's nothing wrong in that, there's nothing wrong in wanting to go out and being sociable and having a fantastic social life, but even that at times I don't think was enough for this person, they fed off the drama, and I think to be honest at times they fed off your reaction, okay, 
So they are dreaming of you. And I do feel with this Eight of Wands, Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords, they are going to come back in. Okay? They are going to come back in. But they're not sure how you'll react, which is very common. You know, it's a common thing for people to feel when they're in, in separation. But they do feel you deserve better. Okay, they do feel that you deserve better. Let's see what else we can find out. They're saying they don't know who they are anymore. And that's clarifying what is the truth. Clarifying all the drama. They'd like to say they wish it could be a different person. You know, if, if the only key from this reading, the only, you know, take away, is this person knows what they've done. Okay, they, they, you know, if that gives you closure, they know what they've done. They, they know they caused a lot of drama. Okay, they know that they, oh, I don't know, they almost like poked at you. Like I say, just to get a reaction. Is it over? That's what they're going to come and ask you. Is it over? All right, so this is quite a heads up here for you. Whichever way you you know, you decide to take this. Let's just uh, get Kipper. Let's get this Kipper deck out. Right. I've got here that this person, specific, is at, at, used to act like a spoiled brat at times. Okay, that they, they really felt they were privileged and everything should be handed to them on a plate. Okay, instead of being mature when the relationship ended, they were extremely immature. Okay, also going back to the siblings and the person or persons that they're connected into, this person also feels that they're a cut above everybody else. Okay, I'm just giving you more details so you'll know if it's your reading today. This person also feels that they are um, a cut above everybody else. If your person is male, okay, I feel that there was a female who was a bit younger who went after some sort of financial recompense here or saw that your person had something that would help them lead a privileged life, okay? But when your relationship ended, your person, well, yeah, they just acted like a bit like a spoiled brat, okay? Let's see what else comes in. I'm going to just look at their environment for a minute. Let's see what we've got. Oh, gosh, wow, that's really interesting. Just going back to the person, the female energy, who connected in, especially if your person's older than a female energy, whether it be sister, cousin, friend, third party. This female is a gold digger, because I've got the Nine of Pentacles that's come out in reverse. Okay, that's what's going on in the environment that your person's in. Okay, there's a lack of stability there's overspending, there's shady investments. <laughs> there's nothing being finished that was started. Projects aren't being finished. If someone's not putting the work in. There's someone who's promised to work hard, but they're not doing it. They're spending someone else's money. Your person could be feeling slightly trapped in this. Your person's independence, I'm getting, for some, has wilted away. Okay, let's go back environment, please. Environment, two more for environment. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, death in reverse. Two of cups. They are still stuck on you, okay? They're in this environment. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I think they thought they might have met the one 
if they went into a third party relationship, okay? I think they might have thought that this was it. But unfortunately, um, there's, there's a dependency going on in their environment, okay? I think if it's third party, and it doesn't even have to be third party romance, but th there's a dependency going on. Your person is stuck, okay? There's something that they were trying to transform that is not working out. There are negative patterns in their environment that are being repeated like a wheel, okay? And the person that they thought they saw eye to eye with, whether, you know, whether it be third party or not, this person who they went into partnership with or went into some form of unity with, or, you know, they had a mutual respect for, it's, it's negative, okay, it's negative. There's someone in your person's environment who is codependent, okay, Co codependent or using somebody for, for financial gain, but not pulling their weight. Okay, now this card's come out. I feel this is their feelings towards you as well, the Two of Cups. Okay, I, I feel this person realises now that it was you that they saw eye to eye with. It was you that, you know, that they should have stayed with. Okay, but like I said earlier, you know, they, they are a little bit immature at times. And the way they ended this, I think, was a little bit brutal. Brutal in the fact that I think that instead of being honest with you, you found out some information, something came to light. They denied it all, blamed it on you. And then could have told everyone you were crazy when you were reacted, when you reacted. Or they sent you to such a limit that you did something that you got into trouble for because they kept pushing you. Okay, they kept pushing you. Right, let's see what Spirit wants to say about this. Let's get some advice, please. Yeah, you're surrounded. Your Spirit Guides are with you. Okay, your Spirit Guides are with you. You are being guided on this path. So if you feel down, alone, I know it's difficult, I really, really do, but you are surrounded by love and you are surrounded by spirit guides at the moment. Your vibration is rising, okay? You are going through some spiritual growth. And spiritual growth is, is all about, you know, realising your own worth, working on your own self-concept, realising just how amazing you are, because you are amazing. Now, coming into your, your future, I've got a message here that you are going to have to make a decision on something, okay? But not to worry about it. You will find the strength to make this decision. You will make the right decision, okay? And it will work out in your favour. But there is a decision going to come in. And it's specifically saying that, are you going to prioritise yourself or are you going to let somebody else um, or, or somebody else's opinions and thoughts affect what you now do with your life, okay? You are being pointed to your own joy, okay? You, you, you have got this decision to make and I feel today, you know, these three cards is somebody coming back in. Okay, that, that is somebody coming back in. All right, but it's really you accepting your own joy, but don't worry about the decision because you are spiritually protected. Okay, whatever, you know, your beliefs are on that, because we all have different beliefs and different things, you... You are, you are being looked after, I'm getting to say, 
okay you are being looked after and you don't have to make a decision straight away you know you you can take your time to think about it just because this energy because the ace of swords and the eight of wands are quick energy it's whoosh you know, it's um, hold on to your hats energy, here it comes. You don't see it coming, you're not expecting it. You get up one morning and it's like your whole world's done 180 degrees. Okay, it's that sort of energy. Let's just see what else Spirit would like to say advice-wise before we wrap this up. Yeah, just what I was thinking, take your time, the hangman. Be the hanged man. Okay, this person, you know, didn't give you closure. I feel they left you twisting in the wind. They dumped a lot of baggage on you. I do feel it was a case of they hadn't got the strength to to admit what they'd done. Okay, especially if you found something. And I was getting a laptop. Okay, they hadn't got the strength to admit it. Okay, you reacted in some shape or form. And that was their get out to blame you. All right, you are being asked not to rush, just take your own sweet time. You know, if they haven't, it's almost an energy if they haven't spoken to you for a while, then you know, make them wait. You don't sacrifice your needs and wants if somebody is pressing you to make a decision. Okay, you work out what's right for you, you work out what's right for you on this one. Let's just have one more, please. Yeah. Do what makes you happy. Okay? You know, do what makes you happy. You have got, Spirit is saying, Will of Fortune, you've got some real good luck coming in. Okay? Something's going to change in your favour. You know, and also, if you are in this hanged man energy at the moment, where you feel nothing's going your way, all right? You've neither got the truth and you've neither moved on for it. That's how I always sometimes feel the hangman is. In in relationships where there's no closure, you haven't got the truth. There's no justice. Okay, you've probably taken most of the blame. But you haven't been able to move on because you're just stuck in this almost like no man's land. It's changing. Okay, you're on the up. Good things are coming promise you with the Wheel of Fortune, it's a fab card, absolutely fab card. That energy you're in at the moment, if that's you, is going to change, okay? It is definitely, definitely, definitely going to change, but you will have a decision to make in the future, and I feel that's what will shift this wheel again. You will make a decision. You will make a decision regarding, regarding this person and this situation. Yeah, don't know why I picked that up, runner. Yeah, they're going to say they don't want to run anymore. So I shall leave that with you. Thank you so, so much for watching. And thanks for all your comments. I read every single comment. So, you know, I know some of you are going through a really tough time. Okay, just remember you are protected. Things will get better. Okay, things will get better. And you are, you are being guided. Okay, even if it doesn't feel like it some days, you are being guided. So thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.